Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a review and swatches of the new Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. Now when she announced that she was going to be doing a new eyeshadow palette, I got so excited because uh, eyeshadow palettes are my first love when it comes to makeup. But when she showed us the inside, I knew right away I had to have it. It called my name, I did the double take. It was just perfect. I. I could not wait for it to launch. Um, so of course this is the outer packaging, a nice shiny blue case. Uh, it says Rustic Glam on the back. You probably can't see because of all the reflectiveness. Uh, you have the list of ingredients, the eyeshadow colors, and the eyeshadow names. Um, now this palette is $44. It is made in the USA, which I personally love. It is also cruelty free. You can pick this up on DominiqueCosmetics.com or you can also pick this up at Sephora either online or in stores. So taking this off, oh, the packaging on this, you guys, is just so gorgeous. So this is the palette here. Isn't that stunning? I love the blue and white, and the gold on top of the blue is just so pretty. I love the little design on there. This is just, oh, it makes me so happy. They did really, really well on the packaging. So you do get a nice full-size mirror. She did change the shape just a little bit. And then, of course, these are your shades right here. I think this is a very well put together palette. Um, you can create pretty much any eye look with this. You can go neutral or definitely pops of color. I really love the eye look that I created with this palette today. Um, on my eyes today, I do have Free Spirit. I have Evil Eye, Cactus, Wonderlust, and Moon Child. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches. Um, now normally I do insert different skin tones when it comes to my swatches. However, my daughter was not available. So the only other swatch I will have for you guys is the deeper skin tone, which is my husband. So let's go ahead and do that. And I am actually just gonna start on the top row and then work my way on the bottom. And I will let you guys know my thoughts. Let me give you a closer look. These are your swatches right here. As you saw, I did have to swatch this one twice and the black shade twice. Or actually, I didn't swatch that one twice. I had to rub it in a little bit more. The colors in here are so gorgeous. Now, I love this Free Spirit color right here. I think it is a great um, brow bone highlight, but it also works really well to set my eye primer, and I really, really like that. Um, Evil Eye, now, when I was packing it on the lid, I noticed it swatches really, really blue, but going on with the brush, it was a little bit lighter, so I really had to build up that color. It's not really a big deal. I prefer to build up a shade than have too much at once. Um, that's better for me, but I just wanted you guys to know that you are gonna have to build up that color. Cactus is definitely an interesting shade. Um, it's another color that I had to build up, but I was putting it on top of the blue so that maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, it's not like any other color that I have in my collection. It's really unique, and I, I really dig that color. Wonderlust, oh my God, okay? I have it on my lids. It is such a gorgeous color color. I am living for this. Um, now you guys know I do not like single shadows, but if this was a single shadow, I would buy stacks of them because it is just that gorgeous. It's like this goldish green color. I don't know even know how to explain it. It's nothing. I have nothing in my collection like this. It's just so beautiful. Um, 
all the other shades they blend really really nicely i really want to do kind of like a brown smoky eye with these three shades right here i want to see if i can do that this blue shade is absolutely gorgeous uh, i really enjoy this purple right here when you look at it in the pan my first thought is okay it's a cranberry color but it's really not it's got a little bit more purple to it which i really really enjoy now this palette does have a lot of kick up um, that's not really a big deal for me but if it is for you, then you probably would not enjoy this palette because it does have quite a bit. Um, now, what I do is I usually go in light handed. Once I go in the first time, when I go back in for a second round, I'll just lightly tap all that kick up and use that on my brush. That way I'm not digging in, creating more kick up. That's how I do it. So it's, it's easier for me. Um, I feel like I'm not wasting the shadow that way. And doing it that way, it's really not a big deal for me. Um, the only issue I really do have with this palette, and I do have one issue, uh, is the Moon Child right here. It's a pretty shade. You look at it in the pan, you see all the little glitters. It's so pretty, but of course it's a matte so the glitters do not stay i cannot stand when a brand does this the moment you go in with the brush all that glitter just fell down my face and it goes away so i have moon child on my outer corner and there is no glitter left at all <laughs> It's just not there. I don't think this is necessary for brands to do, but they want to continue doing it. So it's a little pet peeve of mine. I don't necessarily like it. It's not a deal breaker, but I just wanted you guys to know it has one of those mattes that have the shimmers that don't stay. <laughs> All in all, I really do enjoy this palette. I think it is beautiful from the outside to the inside. The shades are great. Oh, they feel so soft when you touch them. I like just butter. I love it. Um, now, I do own her other eyeshadow palettes. So I have the Latte palette. I have the Lemonade palette. And I have the Berries and Cream palette. So I have all her palettes. I love her eyeshadow palettes. I think they are fantastic the formula is same throughout all of them um, they blend really well they're really soft to the touch and they just perform so well the colors in each of her palettes um, are just beautiful now I did take a look through the other palettes to see if there's any repeat shades and there's not everything in the rustic glam is brand new and I really, really love that she did that uh, so there are no repeat shades so if you have any of these you can still get this now I did pick up two Rustic Glam palettes, so I'll be putting the other one in my summertime giveaway. Hopefully I'll be able to get that video up for you guys next week. Hopefully. <laughs> so that is it for this review. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified of the videos when they go live. I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.